So once you've submitted your application, uh, you'll be shortlisted, shortlisted to, to be interviewed. Um, and this could be in person or just could be done online. For internship positions, typically there is uh, only one interview. For new grad positions, there may be a screening interview and a full interview afterwards. So regardless of whether it's a um, an online interview or in-person interview, you want to do things like showing up on time and dressing well for the interview. Typically, they will ask you questions about your resume, your job experiences, uh, any extracurricular activities that you have, followed by some behavioral questions. And so for the behavioral questions, you want to make sure that you, you're using the STAR technique. So that stands for situation, task, action, and results. And you want to use that all the time when you're answering those behavioral questions. And I can make a video on that later on if if people uh, are wanting to know, mo know more about that process. And so at the end of the interview, after they're done asking you questions, so that this could be around 30 to 45 minutes, 45 minutes, uh, you would then have a chance for you yourself to ask them questions. And so it's always good to uh, prepare some questions ahead of time. And so the offer, um, typically they'll get back to you within a week for whether you got the offer or not. Uh, but before you hear back, I would also recommend that you actually continue um, to secure more interviews just in case you get rejected. Um, and for interns, typically, uh, interns send out maybe 30 to 60 applications before they're able to secure a job, which is why it's very important for you to con continuously be searching through LinkedIn um, career mind and other job boards. Another thing to know is hiring typically um, takes place in cycles. So typically there's a May start date, a uh, September start date. The May start date is more common because that's when you finish your second term. Um, and so those postings would typically go up four months earlier, which is actually right about now. So in January, um, that's when the job postings typically come up to hire for a, a May start date. All right, so this brings us to the end of the video. Some bonus tips. Uh, companies like to hire people who can do 12 to 16 months. Uh, and the reason for this is because once they do train the student, um, they can take advantage of that for more for longer. Uh, and they don't have to be continuously um, bringing someone new and training them, getting them up to speed. So it's a lot more efficient for them. And for you, while that may provide more job security, the downside is that you won't be able to get as diverse of an experience versus say if you do multiple four month positions at different companies. Through that way you can explore and see uh, what jobs you like, what jobs you didn't like, and use that to help you make an informed decision for what position to go into full-time after graduating. Another thing is safety is very important within the mining industry. So anytime you bring that up in your resume, cover letter, or your interview, you should definitely highlight some of the safety related achievements or mindsets that you have. Um, another thing is your first job is going to be the hardest to secure just because you probably won't have any relevant uh, work experience to talk about. And so in th that case, this is when I would recommend that you focus on things like safety. Um, if they ask for, if you want to see something like uh, strong interpersonal communication and team bu building skills, you definitely want to make that the focus of your application. All right, so this brings us to the end of this video. Um, thank you so much for listening in. And uh, as always, if you guys have questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below or you can ask them on Instagram. And if there's a, a topic that you want to see in the future, um, let me know as well and I'll be happy to make more videos for you guys. All right, thank you so much and have a good day.